What's going on internet? IG here again today and I'm just going to be taking a really quick look at the KDE Plasma 5 desktop. These are my first impressions. I'm going to be doing a more detailed review once the Plasma Desktop 5.4 lands in the Kubuntu Backports repository. So this is just a first impression, stay tuned, it's going to get a lot better than this. Now I'm going to be completely upfront and honest with you, this is the first time I have played around with Plasma 5. I literally installed uh, Kubuntu 15.04, I looked around for ages for the best um, KDE based or best Plasma based desktop and this is what I landed on, this seemed to be uh, the easiest way to get a relatively stable uh, version of Plasma Desktop 5.3 running and hopefully 5.4 in the next couple of days. So stay tuned and I'll let you know how it all goes. Now obviously I've never done a video like this before where I've got the little like um, the webcam thing down there. So I just did that because I'm too lazy to set up a different camera today and I am going to get rid of it now because I don't know, I never really liked this style of YouTuber and um, yeah, I'm probably not going to be sticking with it. So we will get rid of you for the moment. There we go. And uh, yeah, so let's get on with the spuds here. The first impressions of Plasma 5 is, oh wow, where has the Linux desktop design been all my life? Um, I love the way this looks and feels. I've got to say, the work that they've put into the theming and the overall fluidity of the desktop, and I get it, It's a, we're a few revisions in now, and that's kind of the way that I wanted to go to give it a bit of time to mature. But look, um, the Plasma desktop, Qt 5, all of that sort of stuff, it all looks and works amazingly. Not to mention all the icons and stuff like that, they all look incredible. Like, this is what a modern desktop should look like. Now, it still struggles for a bit from a bit of white space, which is pretty typical for a lot of uh, KDE-based programs um, and apps and user interface design, but really a lot of the stuff that KDE have got going on here is really what they've always been good at, and that's catering to the power user. Uh, it doesn't matter who you are or how you use your computer, you can get KDE to do what you want it to do. And they're just doing that now more stylish than ever. Um, and I really, really appreciate that in uh, in the design of the Linux desktop. And l let's be honest, Plasma 5 had a lot more going for it than um, in terms of the way it looked and feel than, uh, than what Windows 10 did. And it's definitely no secret that Windows 10 has, has borrowed quite a few of these very, um, I guess, very flat, semi-translucent sort of design elements um, that KDE has been working on for the last couple of years. Um, look, when it, uh, one of my favorite things about KDE in, uh, in the 4.x series was KRunner, and KRunner has just gotten so much better now when it comes to um, when it comes to you know searching and launching stuff, and apparently it gets even better in 5.4. So I'm running this on a typical spinning um, hard drive, actually an external hard drive, and so the the speed. Um, isn't quite what I'm used to in terms of my primary distribution, which is running on an SSD. Um, but I, I'm still going to say the speed of, you know, searching and launching here in KRunner is pretty ridiculous. Um, I mean, I really can't say too much more than that, apart from the KDE on modern hardware, Plasma 5 desktop is very, very responsive. And uh, let's hope that only just keeps improving with uh, the KDE 5.4 release. Um, so yeah, they keep improving, making improvements to it. There's apparently a bunch of new artwork and a few, a few new tools and tweaks. But some of the new stuff that came in with the 5.3 update was uh, some significant power management uh, tweaks. So not exactly sure where we dig into that. Um, also connecting into your online accounts, which is something that I've always appreciated about KDE in the last couple of years is that they integrate really well with online accounts. Um, but oh, well, let's see if we can track down our power management. Here it is. So as you can see, you can really tone that down to exactly what you want it to do. A lot of these settings we were used to in the desktops of yesteryear, but it's back here in Plasma 5. Um, some of the resizing is a little bit iffy. Um, and KDE Connect, while I absolutely love the idea of connecting a smartphone with KDE and being able to reply to text messages and all, all that sort of thing, um, I haven't actually tried that out yet. So I guess I want to give that a go before I pass judgment on whether or not it's worth it. Um, but look, 
The workspace theme of, of Breeze and the desktop theme is just incredible. Um, and obviously you've still got a bunch of customization here as well. So gradually all of the programs that KDE, that are, I guess in, are in that KDE software compilation, all those programs are slowly being ported over to, uh, to Qt 5 or to the, you know, the KDE uh, 5.x development. Like, I don't even know what the technical term is for it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and even stuff like here in Kubuntu, even stuff like the uh, LibreOffice Writer actually looks like it belongs in here, thanks to that uh, fantastic icon suite that they've brought in here for the KDE version of LibreOffice itself. So I'm going to be really curious as to see where this goes in the next couple of days, because um, I, I've been re very curious about KDE 5.x for a while. And uh, now that I'm actually giving it a, a bit of a spin, um, this is going to be interesting and I, and I can't wait to get 5.4 on here. So let me know what you think about KDE Plasma 5.x series down in the comments below. I know this is a very informal video for what I usually do, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and just share stuff that is exciting. Um, and you know, the more excitement, the better. Let me know what you think in the comments. I will see you all in the very next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm.